It has long been recognized that a big part of disaster re resilience is having a good base of scientific knowledge. Previously, we would do research in flooding, but completely detached from community affairs. And these uh, Christian aid projects are actually the first I've done wherein I've interacted with those that will be affected by my work. But with uh, interactions with communities, the efficient answer to the problem need not always be the most equitable answer. Because if I say that people shouldn't be here because uh, it is a floodplain, then we should all relocate you. I don't see the potential problem in relocating all these people, having uh, new problems springing out of that uh, particular decision, uprooting them from their place of work, uh, creating new problems, and so on and so forth. So there was one community wherein I cannot find any other solution but remove everyone in the place. Simply because the communities are in between two walls. The first wall is the dike of uh, the river and the, the outer wall is the wall of the subdivision, the private sub, uh, subdivisions. And so the informal settlers, the communities, are in between these two walls. And you can already tell that when uh, water overflows beyond the dike, you would create a pool uh, that's enclosed by these two walls. And I said, at some point, we should be planning on looking for a more viable place for the community. And their response was, of course, in the negative, because a lot of the leaders there turned out to be owners of not just one house, but several houses, which they rent out. Yeah. Another thing that's a, prob a problem with Novaliches is that their evacuation area is about a kilometer away. Just because of all these walls around them, they can't go above the wall. So, so responding to a flash flood, for example, uh, would be very difficult in the area. In Banaba, the progressive evacuation starts with an area that is maybe within 500 meters of the houses. And then, although the real response would be to evacuate everyone and put them in a safer place, they wouldn't accept that. And so we try to look for a middle ground, and that is to provide an, a responsive evacuation plan for the area.